So my name is John Smith, okay? I am what they call a green plumber. As Vice President of Green Plumbers USA, John Smith educates homeowners about water conservation. Why do we care about water? We have water. You go to your faucet, turn it on. Go to your shower, it's there. On this morning, he's at an elementary school in Goodyear on behalf of Liberty Utilities, the local water and wastewater company. Well, Liberty Water reached out to me and said they were looking to get the residents a little more information about how to save water through their plumbing system. The audience may be a little small, but Smith says the information he provides is vital as water conservation becomes more important in Arizona. Liberty Water has done a wonderful thing by taking the steps to start the program and to continue it. Smith draws on his many years of experience as a green plumber to educate people about high efficiency toilets, finding and fixing leaks, maintaining water heaters, and other water saving techniques and technology. Being a green plumber is a dedication okay, to the environment and the community and to put green products first in front of our consumers. Two thirds of the audience was Jim Laham and his wife, who recently moved to the Valley from Massachusetts. So we're relatively new to the area and we're interested in water conservation and water quality and how to save uh, utilizing services like was presented this morning. And, you know, I think it's something that the general public really needs to know. One lesson he'll take away, a small hot water recirculation system installed under a sink can save water in a big way. So I learned a lot about the recirculating pump. That'll give us more instant hot water instead of wasting several gallons a day waiting for the, uh, the water to get warm. Smith says there's not a best way for a homeowner to help conserve water. There are no perfect shades of green, okay? When you hear somebody ask about, well, how green are you, or what's this? If you, everybody does something little, it could be something such small as changing a habit. It's just all simple things that add up. So don't worry about the big green message. Just do what you can that's comfortable in your life. Whatever the size of the audience, Smith says he will keep doing these workshops to help others save water, one drop at a time. The more we get in front of people, the more the audience will grow. I'm Jordan Young, Cronkite News.